which is sort of the standard right now, especially in Austin, Texas, for um, sort of qualifying eggs and how responsive they're going to be to, to hormones. Um, there are terrible words for all kinds of fer fertility issues like, you know, poor responders and you know, old eggs and things like that. <laughs> so um, this is, it, what is important to remember about follicle stimulating hormone is that it comes from the pituitary, it comes from the brain, and it sends a message to the ovaries to start developing follicles and eggs, so to grow every month this happens or every cycle. So it's not a hormone that is from the ovaries themselves, okay? So there, in all honesty, could be many different issues there other than the egg quality. It could be just a receptor issue, okay? But there is some correlation between follicle stimulating hormone and how responsive the eggs are gonna be. So that um, is often what is used as the standard of um, prediction. So FSH that's less than seven is considered normal, great, very happy. Seven to 10 is slightly reduced ovarian reserve. Above 10, it's declining. And over 15 is very poor, okay? So the risk of miscarriage, blood ovum, and generally this is what we see see also as menopause. When women come in to get tested, am I in menopause, am I not? The FSH will be tested, and if it's very high, that's sort of what determines that. 